You know, if the queen had a royal dating advisor for the village, I think they would be risking being thrown into the dungeon at the moment. I don't even know if we have a dungeon. We probably would end up maybe emptying out a root cellar just to make sure we could make a little bit of room for them. Because maybe Her Royal Majesty has learned something about helping the villagers find their soulmate, especially considering the fact that we do indeed desperately need some better healers, some rat trainers. It wouldn't hurt to have a better priestess, maybe somebody who can tell some jokes before all those old folks die, and, you know, guards, assassins, basically quite a bit. We've got a bit of a laundry list of love that the queen is really hoping the villagers will fulfill. And in the past, even though I'm sure you guys have been telling me for a long time and somehow I just didn't notice, we would try to find soulmates for the villagers one by one. And if we like popped over here and we were like, whoop, well, it looks like, uh, well, like this person would not work. So let me pop back because I actually know. Uh, actually, would that person work? Here, let me just see. Um, no, that's not the person I'm thinking of. Uh, okay, okay, hang in there. <coughs> Note. This gentleman would make an excellent treasurer, or an excellent priest. He doesn't have the highest skills, and he is mean, so maybe we wouldn't make him a priest. Maybe he's better at collecting taxes. Uh, but alas, even though he has some of the skills we're looking for, he just doesn't work with Rene Coral Skies, a grieving widow currently raising a young baby. Um, hang in there, misfortune. Yeah, your assassin mother, Ginger got killed, killing the high priestess and one of our guards. That was chaos. <laughs> but as you can see, this gentleman just doesn't fit with her. She has awful affinity. So do you recall how then I would haul bunny hunkers all the way back over here, drag the next person in, go ahead and line it all back up just so I could see if they have affinity? Oh darn, they don't. And then I would do it over and over and over again and tear at my hair, trying to keep up with letting time pass and the villagers have happy lives. You know how half the village is basically single right now? Watch this. There's, we could have, this, the, the, this whole time, this whole time, I could have taken highly skilled potential new members of our community. And I could have just gone through and had like a whole book of potential dates for them. We could have seen right off the bat if we had anybody like Annie here, who apparently has good affinity. Apparently Sarion does as well, but Sarion, since you are the like future queen, we're going to make sure you have a perfect match. Gilly has like a great match. And look at this, an excellent match with Faye, Leaf Touch. And we could tell all of that because we could just do that and just flip through the pages of potential villagers. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh, like, uh, just kind of amazing. Um, yeah, kind of amazing. I think I might be about to to completely ruin this date without Tendra's help, by the way. Uh, so we're gonna have a little bit of extra help and then I don't remember, oh dear. All right, well, you know what? They have excellent affinity. The queen hopes they, they have a, a great date. She really, she was not really paying attention because Boy, boy, did that ever kind of... Wow. I wish I had realized that sooner. All right, but now that we actually know that, let's go ahead and add this new gentleman to the Leaf Touch family. And this is actually going to be Evergreen. Evergreen, that's hilarious. Evergreen Leaf Touch. Like, it works. You know what I mean? Uh, and then let's see if we can make you either one of the treasurers oh we don't have two treasures congratulations oh and you immediately how did you immediately pick a fight with Faye? how did you do that <laughs> i don't know how that happened but we're just gonna have to accept it also we have so many homeless villagers maybe here here all right look the queen understands the plight of our many villagers galactic are you over being widowed yes you are um sorry to be a little blunt about that but at least we can go ahead You've got good affinity with a whole bunch of people in the village. Uh, let's see, you're 48. Anybody in your age range with good affinity? We'll check. Um, actually, Art, the merchant, who's beautiful. Rowdy, devout, energetic, doesn't like music. You like music. Somehow you guys still have good affinity. 
neither of you like war. Maybe you're really bound together about that. So painting, music, public execution. Music, public executions. Um, painting, music, public executions. Painting, music, public executions. Suffering of war. Um, ah, there. <laughs> now maybe we have a nice empty house. Do we have it? We have an empty house. Oh, wow, it's huge. <laughs> All right, uh, Gelly, congratulations, you finally have a house. Um, but yeah, I'm actually kind of stunned because I wish we had realized that earlier because then we can go ahead and see like if we have anybody who's semi-decent. Aw, Renee, you actually would get along with this person. They don't really have any particular skills. Uh, but you know what? The, the, I, I could probably... Uh, no, let's try again. All right, let's see if we can find somebody. A lumberjack is always needed. Um, We don't have a knight position just yet. I could always use more builders though. Not gonna lie, could always use more builders. And you both like fashion. Uh, And you're actually both close to the same age. Feasting muscles, fashion. Feasting muscles and fashion, but not kittens treats or silver and gold. Okay, let's see. Feasting is liked. And then clothing trends. All right, you guys get to bond over clothes. Congratulations. But I really could always use another builder. So happy to welcome to our village. Oh, Thunderheart. Is it picking up some of the names from our villagers? Because I'm pretty sure Thunderheart was one of the last names we made up. That's amazing. And hey, it's Megan Gaming. So we're gonna have Meggie. Here, Meggie Thunderheart, one of the builders who will hopefully help us to rapidly expand our villages. Oh. Oh, we have a lot of money. Oh. So. Hold up. I. What? We have. We have like 20,000 gold. I think. Despite being a treasury-loving queen, Queen Saffron is realizing as her old age begins to, you know, slightly but not really catch up with her. Rather than hoarding her gold, perhaps she can become even more greedy for what is greater than gold, prestige. And how could we gain great prestige? Making sure that our villagers thrive. That the fact that we have not enough vegetables to comfortably feed everyone and let them know that they can go ahead and maybe give some of the extras to their guinea pigs, which I'm sure they have, we can open up the royal treasury and we can just straight up upgrade all the way if we wanted. Like we're gonna use some of the, the builder tickets but we could almost completely upgrade the farms. <laughs> and like, just like that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like everybody's harvesting so much now. Um, have we, and we already maxed out the farming working conditions. So Mirabelle, Nathan, Pixel, and Moonlit are all gonna be plucking broccoli while singing probably. The, the, the next thing we could possibly do is make sure that like, hey, do we have some friends here? Like Mirabelle, would you get along with like Pixel? You know, stuff like that. Um, gosh, I wish I could go ahead and filter by just the, let's see, Pixel. Like Pixel, for instance, would you two get along? Um, dancing, countryside, silver and gold. Uh, I don't think so, but you know, we, we could even go that far. We could go far enough that we're like, hey, Moonlit, uh, kittens gossip music. Hey, also, Pixel likes kittens gossip and music. Oh, like, we could go ahead and we could even try to make the farmers overjoyed and happy if we wanted. We could, let's see, dancing, countryside, silver, and gold. This is actually a lot faster. Um, let's see, dancing, countryside. Is kittens literally the closest? Kittens and gossip. And then Mirabelle probably wouldn't get along with Moonlit. So I think that Pixel and painting, let's see. Do you like painting? No. Do you like painting? No. Kittens. Kittens. Okay, Pixel, Moonlit, let's see if you two would get along. <gasps> they do! 
they have an average like relationship, but look at that. Their production time will go down a little bit and we can even try, look at that, now they're friends. And now the environment here is good and it makes them whistle while they work and pick those broccoli even faster. Believe and upgrade the wheat. Let no one say her royal majesty never did anything for the kingdom, uh, especially because now we're really after that prestige and especially because we would really like to build a banquet, but I need a lot more wood. Probably should have upgraded the lumberjack shed, but still. Uh, all right, I also need a lot more mining done. Hmm. But who to put there? Miss Fortune, are you happy as a baker? Yes, I would hate to take you from that, since you do indeed have a bit of joy. Still have some homeless villagers I need to deal with too. Uh, who's homeless? Let's see. Sorry, on you shouldn't be. You're you should live in the the castle, you know, because you're the future queen. But maybe we're supposed to go ahead and have her like live among the people for a little while. I guess that's really mature. <laughs> there you go, princess. Theodora, there you are. And then let's see if I can maybe... Where? Who's the last villager who doesn't have... Oh my gosh, Tommy, Marshy, and Tommy just grew up on me. And I need to get them somewhere to live. Can they move in with somebody in the village? Do they have a good match? Excellent matches. Holy moly. Marshy and Annie. Awesome. Annie is currently a fisherwoman and Marshy... Marshy Wildfire, you just grew up enough, and you're thankfully close in age to Annie too, uh, that you're gonna start working for the kingdom too as <gasps> perhaps a merchant or a dancer? That's, I hadn't even thought about dancing, but we could have a beautiful dancer named like Marshy Wildfire. What? That sounds amazing. The queen wants to see that happen, which means we would need to build the ballroom. Uh, Marshy, you don't like dancing. To each life, a little rain must fall. <laughs> All right, so Annie likes poetry. You both don't don't like dancing, fishing, uh, and Annie doesn't like painting. All right, we got this. We got this. Speed date. Um, let's see. You don't like. Okay, she didn't like fishing. Dang it. Um, mm, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's see. Um, criticize dancing. There we go, we made it. Yay, Martian, congratulations. You are no longer without a home. Always wonderful to see, always happy to help. And Tommy, do you get along with anybody in the village? No. You actually get along great with Honey. Honey is quite a bit older than you, I will admit. Uh, so let's double check everyone else first. Whoop, 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 whoop. Theodora, the teacher. Oh, well, she's actually working as a healer right now. And you both like kittens. Come on, that's adorable. That's really adorable. So she likes kittens painting and music, but not the art of war, flowers or dancing. We really don't have people who appreciate dancing in this village. So maybe building the ballroom isn't the best idea. Uh, but these two like kittens. Um, and... Favorite songs. Oh my gosh. We did it! Tommy, congratulations. Now you're not homeless either. Woo! <laughs> All right, so let's see. Do I have anybody who'd be a good guard? Marshy, you're, you could potentially be a dancer, but we might eat you. <gasps> Tommy, Silkfish, you could be a really good healer. Boy, did I ever need to hear that for the play? Why? Honey! Oh no, Honey Oakheart, the baker just died from a fall. Did you still have, oh my gosh, did she, did we just leave behind? Taz, are you homeless now? Um, uh, did I literally just end up with another homeless villager? And why do I have no chairs? What happened to my chairs? The, the queen, how can we have a ballroom if we don't have chairs to do musical chairs with, I ask you. The queen demands that that receives extensive upgrades so that even if we only have so many people and so much lumber, we can hopefully get that moving. I guess we need more carpenters. Um, that would be nice. And uh, like 
do we still have bakers? We do still have bakers, but what a what a tragedy to have lost one of our uh, longest lived and most famous bakers. Oh, look, we'll sell the last of her bread she made. Oh, and we'll exchange some of our vegetables for bread just because I, I like the idea that maybe that's all part of like honoring her memory. Uh, and we'll even exchange some of the lumber by saying like, you know, we had a nice little feast and it made everybody feel warm and cozy. Ah, rest in peace, honey. Right, so, oh my gosh, babies, babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, a smart, rowdy baby who could one day become a great actress, though. I'll take that. Uh, Aslan and Kit Kat, you have gone ahead and you have welcomed into the family. It's Deer Bones again! Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with Bones this time. Gem Nail. Welcome back. And actually, I think the queen could go ahead and expand your household because your parents are good at raising good kids. We have a bazillion children who would very much like to have, like to have apprentice spots, but then we have Daz, he's an orphan. What do I do? He's like an apprentice actor. He, he really does not get along with his mentor. He's best friends with Shell Berry. Like they have a great friendship. They're a perfect match from the past. Shell, are you married? Like, is that is that an aspect of your life? It is not. Maybe you, you could wait for, like, somebody to grow up. That's a little... Why do we have so many berries? Jill, don't get married. <laughs> okay. Right. So. We have chairs! The maker must awaken. Mercury enjoys physical activity. Running, climbing, dancing, lifting heavy objects. And everyone regards her as a top-notch athlete in the making. However, Mercury treats it as a casual pastime rather than a serious endeavor. In truth, she would rather craft things or meet people. My dear, let's make you a brand new social bug. Mercury has lots of energy to burn and would rather spend it with others. There are so many people to meet, so many points of view to discover, so much exciting conversation to have, so many events to partake in and discuss. Above all, Mercury wants to make friends. Lots and lots of friends. Aww, that's adorable. All right, um, I think, would that be Bard? No, that would be Knowledge and Charisma. Stage performance, maybe? Um... And then we're gonna pop over at Mercury, in you go. You get to train under Sweetberry, the actress, and hopefully you guys will have a good time. Whew. And now that we have chairs, by the way, we're still not anywhere close to being able to build the queen's, the queen's banquet that she wanted. But there is a ballroom in the future, despite the fact that we have a lot of club feet and don't like dancing in this, this village. Ooh, yes, our gemstones for money. Always happy to see that. All right, wow. Stuff's going down. Would any of you lucky lonely hearts like to go ahead and conveniently find us a lumberjack? A mean romantic glutton who has, again, around like the club foot, which makes it hard for him to dance. Well, you know, I I was asking for, no, sorry, and you're the royal princess. You you need to have a perfect match or nothing, all right? All right. Um, you know what? Ever gemstone? As a thief, I think you wouldn't mind the mean part. And I, I actually think there's a bit of irony that our thief slash assassin family somehow has looped back around to the lumberjacks, since the lumberjacks were assassinated to the nth degree. Is, is this, is this how they win? Is this how the assassins have won? They have taken over our lumberjack shed? Potentially, potentially. Muscles, cuddles, and feasting. Okay, let's see. Muscles, cuddles, and feasting. Muscles, cuddles, and... <laughs> oh, look at that. No irony there that just as ever Gemstorm, one of our lead thieves, gets married. Guess what? We're gonna say the, the lumberjack that we just married in. Clearly he was part of the Thieves Guild, because the Thieves Guild literally just expanded when he moved in. That's hilarious. Also, Siegel and Annie are ready to go ahead and adopt Taz the Second. 
I could happily have that note of just knowing, like, where, where are you two? I want to say thank you so much because you took in a little one who had nowhere to go. And one day he might become a famous actor. The Silver Pupple family also just had a child. Uh, what was it this one? Trassel. Yes, you were named after Trassels. Um, we have so many, so many. Oh, I have an empty house. Wolf, in you go. <laughs> there they are. Yeah, Seagull and Yanni have this huge home and they wanted to have somebody with their perfect match relationship to share it with. And so they adopted poor orphaned Taz. That's wonderful. And also we have a very kind new baby boy uh, who is Arabella and Rainbow Silver Pebbles' first child. <sighs> Lynx the loyal. Welcome back. Lynx. Maybe with, like, Lynxy? Lynxy? Why not? <laughs> Spider. Spider, I don't think I have a house for you right now. <laughs> Give me a second. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. And Spider Jim, like Grimdale, who is super smart, literally just grew up. Did you have, I actually think, I actually think that like Spider trained under the Gemstorm family. <gasps> you did. You actually, so Spider actually trained with the jeweler who was the leader of the Gemstorm family of thieves. I remember that now. That's amazing. He's taken up the job that um, his, his master is a strong word, but his, his mentor, there it is, always wanted him to do. Picking pockets. And possibly skimming off the top, middle, bottom, or, like, gold-plated silverware dishes of the queen <laughs> and her treasury. <sighs> okay. Does the llama want- oh, the llama wants our art, sure. And we're starting to get some money back, too. Which is good, because- hey! Here's our brand new lumberjack who just has moved in. Don't even park. This is this is gonna be like a shade park because you absolutely no. We're actually gonna call you like um, alley tree or uh, alley alley glare, alley secret. Or ah, come on, I know that we've been we've been pushed into letting the thieves take over our lumberjacks. So how about how about just um lumber there you go there you go welcome malpe mal cream puff queen the little thunderheart was just assassinated our bard i wish i could have seen who he made angry because i actually think that you're higher you have a higher chance of getting assassinated if you have enemies. And being the bard, he clearly sung a song he shouldn't have and paid the price for it. Mal. Um, Mallard, if you don't mind. Mal, cream puff queen. Welcome. And hey, 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 hey. Uh, um, lumber club? <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to think. Lumber Strike, there we go. Because I'm pretty sure that you're part of the Thieves Guild and I'm pretty sure you had something to do with the sudden and abrupt disappearance of our, um, our mini, mini lumberjacks. Also, speaking of lumber, we are currently maxed out on it. Wow. Well, might as well make room for what we got. <sighs> oh, look, and we actually just traded lumber for prestige. That's, that's funny. That just fits in with the theme all over again. And suddenly we have another homeless villager just like that. <laughs> can we build the queen's banquet yet? <gasps> we can! At least we've got that. At least we've got that. And also potentially the plague. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. That's when the best time to go ahead and have banquets when you got the plague, right? <laughs> <laughs> 